to their software developer? A software developer? What? 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 Yes, a software developer. I bet the first time you heard this, you were imagining something amazingly complicated. But I think many software developers, including me, probably started with simple issues and learned a bunch of things along the way. It may feel like contributing to open source is beyond your skill set. But sometimes the hardest part is just getting started. Hello everyone, I'm Juanita, one of the Spire developers, and in this video I will teach you how to start contributing to open source by solving a simple issue with Spire. The first step is to fork the repository of the project you want to contribute to. You will need to sign into your account on GitHub in order to do this, or create one if you don't have one. Then, go to the project's repository and click the fourth button at the top left of the page. This will create a copy of the repository on your own account. On your new fork, click the green code button and copy the link that appears there to get the URL for cloning it. In case you don't have Git set up on your computer, follow the instructions in the link below. Now, open your terminal or git bash if you install git for Windows and type the command git cloned followed by pasting the URL you just copied. With this, now you have a local copy of your fork. Finally, change to the directory of the repo you just cloned with cd spider and add the spider repo as the upstream remote repository by typing the following. This will allow you to keep your repo up to date with the latest changes of Spider. For a beginner guide on using Git, click the link below. Most open source projects have their own contributing guide, which explains the steps for setting up your development environment. You will find the Spiders in the root directory of the repo. After opening it, follow the instructions under creating a Conda environment or virtual M. Here, I will guide you through the main steps using Conda. If you don't have an Anaconda installed, please download it from the link below. To create and activate a new Conda environment for developing Spider, type the following comments in your terminal or Anaconda prompt on Windows. After you have created your new Conda environment, you need to install Spider's necessary dependencies. The easiest way to do it with Conda is by running Now that your environment is ready to start the development version, simply type python bootstrap.py. This will allow you to view the changes that you make in Spire during your development process because it starts Spire from the code in your clone. Now we need to select the issue we want to fix. For this demo, I will choose one from our issue tracker link below. For some ideas on easy issues to fix, Click the label drop down and select the option Community Easy. The issue we will fix now is number 13741, which is about matching the Python tooltip with the title in its dialog. To do so, you first have to create a branch for your work. If your change is small, like a bug fix or a minor UI improvement, you should make it to the branch for the current version of Spire. In this case, 4.x instead of master. You need to base your new branch on the correct branch in order to avoid conflicts. For this, run git checkout 4.x. Then, you need to reset the spider configuration file when switching between master and 4.x by running. Next, create your branch from this one. Remember to give your branch a name, in our case Python tooltip, that is related to your fix. For this, run the following command. Usually, when the issue is a bug, the first thing you need to do is try to reproduce the error by following the steps reported in the issue. If it includes a Python traceback, it will most likely include the file and the line of the error in Spider's source code. This will usually allow you to find and fix the bug more easily. In this case, though, we're improving some text in the interface rather than solving an error, 
so we were inspired in development mode to see the tooltip that we want to fix. We can see that the Python Manager tooltip does not match the title of the dialogue with traders. One of the hardest parts of the process often is finding the file where we're supposed to make the change. For this, what I usually do is search for a string that might help me find the file in the spiders repo. I will use the find pane in spiders stable version to search for the tooltip's original message. Now that we found the part of the code in charge of the Python manager tooltip, we have to change the string to match the dialog title. Open Spider in the development mode one more time to verify that the change was successfully applied. Now you're ready to add and commit your changes with a descriptive message. Finally, push your new branch with your changes to your fork on GitHub. Enter your GitHub username and password if requested. Now you can submit your changes to Spider's repo. After you push your branch to your fork, go to the Spider repository on GitHub and you will see the option to open a pull request. Before submitting it, make sure that you read the template. Add PR to the title. Describe the changes you made. Upload a screenshot if possible. Link the issue that you are solving. And finally, type your username to affirm that you have the right to release your changes. You also have to make sure that you select the correct branch to merge your changes. In this case, I based my changes on the branch 4.x, so I select it in my pull request. Now, you're ready for contributing to Spider and even other open source projects. Subscribe to our channel to watch more videos and leave the comments below to let us know if this helped you make your first pull request. Thanks for watching and happy spidering! On your new fork, clean the Follow the instructions under creating a content environment or virtual end. Thank <laughs> you.